Hello, I have a Twitch channel where I play DOS games and research DOS games and pretty much everything revolves around DOS games. It only really makes sense that I make a video teaching people how to actually play DOS games. <laughs> First of all though, a question that people ask me all the time and are really, really embarrassed to ask is, Emmy, what actually is a DOS game? Now you needn't be ashamed, you needn't be embarrassed to ask that, it's a perfectly reasonable question. MS-DOS stands for Microsoft Disk Operating System. In the 80s, most Western PCs ran DOS on them, and it was gradually phased out over time as operating systems became more and more graphics-based. That's a very simplistic way of putting it, but DOS represents a huge part of gaming history. Several series like Doom and Monkey Island are still very relevant over three decades later, but there are many mammoths in the tech industry today who started out making tiny little shareware games for DOS. Okay, so how do we play them? Well, if you're watching this, I assume you're not sitting in rooms full of real hardware. So I'm going to give you three simple options and I'm going to talk you through everything you need to know. Maybe not everything. I'm going to talk you through m most of what. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> if you want to try out some DOS games, the likely easiest option is to play games in your browser. There are quite a few ways to do this, but I'm just going to briefly cover two of them. Let's start with the Internet Archive, archive.org, which has every DOS game you could ever want, and then some. Let's search for Animal Quest, a DOS shareware game that a remarkable amount of people seem to have played growing up. There it is. All you need to do is click on the power button and it launches for you. You also have the option of making the game full screen. The DOS prompt is taken care of and you're in, that's it, you're playing the game. It also supports save states these days, so that's pretty handy as well. It's not really relevant with this game, but hey, I don't know how seriously you take your animal quest. Eat those eggs! Get that frog! You can play for as long or as little as you like, and then we're done. Easy as pie and accessible from pretty much anywhere with internet. While Archive has the most game diversity out of any other option, it's not the prettiest. And there's a lot of titles to sort through, especially if you're fairly unfamiliar with DOS games. So let's look at a prettier, more user-friendly option. DOS Deck. This site is relatively new and has most of the major shareware titles that people most fondly remember. I'm a notorious Keen feed, so let's try Keen 4. DOS Deck is basically using the same process as Internet Archive, just in a prettier package and with a few more features. All you have to do is install and play the game. Done. There are other options available, such as changing the key mapping and adding an on-screen keyboard. Things to make your gameplay more generally accessible or user-friendly. It does have quite a limited set of game titles available at present, but they're all high quality. All right, time to show off and do something weird. Okay, done. Dust deck. Good. Good choice. Bye, Billy. All right. Time for the biggest contender, literally. ExoDOS is an enormous and constantly expanding collection of DOS games. One could hypothetically go to their website, retroexo.com, and download it. I can't, um, blatantly advocate its use unless you own the license of every DOS game included, but hypothetically, it's an option that exists. The ExoDOS collection is huge and growing, but it doesn't quite have everything that Archive does, or even that Archive doesn't. The DOS Gaming Library is truly a phenomenal size. You need over 700 gigabytes of hard drive space for the current full release. However, there is also an Exodos Lite version, which is much, much smaller and allows you to obtain specific titles as you wish. Once you have Exodos on your computer, load it up, install it, and you'll see the following screen. Then just search for the game you want to play. Skyroads is always a good choice. The first time you load a game, you'll be asked to confirm installation and to make your choices regarding aspect correction, window size, and game filter. And away you go. You can always hit Alt Enter for full screen mode as well. And for the most part, that's it. One of the main perks of Exodos is that all the games are generally pre-configured to work perfectly on launch, which saves you a lot of time and effort. Okay, let's get to DOSBox. A lot of people are intimidated by DOSBox at first, but I promise you, five minutes and you will be an expert. We want to start by making a folder for our games to go in. 
Now, back in the day, we would have just called it games because DOS games are all we had. But for clarity, let's call it MS-DOS instead. Okay, so let's put a game in there. How about The Incredible Machine? Here it is, Tim. Hello, The Incredible Machine, it's nice to see you. Okay, so we can't play this natively in Windows, so let's load up DOSBox. First up, we need to mount or attach C drive so that DOSBox knows to read it. We'll mount C drive as the file location we made before. C drive slash MS-DOS. Then we change into C drive. Easy. See that? We're in C drive. What's in C drive? We type dir, D-I-R, for directory to see what's in the directory of C drive. Oh, hey, Tim. So um, how do we get into Tim? Well, we want to change directory. So we type CD for change directory and then the target directory, Tim. Yay, okay, so let's look at the directory. Here's a whole bunch of game files, but we're generally looking for an executable or exe file. There it is, tim.exe. We wanna play that, tim.exe. Hey, we did it. We're playing the incredible machine, that's pretty cool. We started it from scratch and it only took a minute or so. Imagine how quick it would be with practice. So you play the incredible machine to your heart's content. You put the basketball through the hoop but you're so full of DOS gaming rush that you want to look at some more games. How do we look at some more? How do we go back? Um, uh, do consecutive stop points refer to the directory directly above the current directory? So typing CD followed by dot dot will take you back one directory. Done. Easy. All right, Emmy snuck some more games in here. Let's go have a look at Bouncing Babies. That's a game that a lot of people grew up with, unfortunately. I'm sure it'll be a wonderful game that everyone... Okay, it's, it's, it's really a little fast. Um, the babies are all dead. Um, let's see what we can do about that. Let's, let's quit the game. So in DOSBox, cycles represent the speed of the machine. The default is 3000, but you can just type in the intended cycles before launching the game. Let's try 200 and see how we go. Cycles equals 200. When you're starting out, it's probably easier to change the cycles in game by pressing Control F11 to lower them or Control F12 to speed them up. Okay, this is much better. We saved the day! We saved the babies! We're heroes. Hooray for DOS. All right, time for the big one. Here's my Commander Keen directory from when I was 14 years old. Terrifying. Let's have a look at the directory. Oh, this is too much. This is, this is, this is, there's too many files. I'm overwhelmed by teenage girl hyperfixation and I can't see it all. What am I going to do? Ideally, we want it to pause until we press a key. So let's try DIR for directory slash P for pause. Okay, that's much better, but there's still a lot of files here and we're not really using the full real estate of the screen. Let's try directory slash W for wide. Okay, that's cool, but it's not showing everything because again, there are too many files. What if we combine the two? Oh yeah, that's good. That's the good stuff. It's still a lot though. Imagine if we could just look at the exe files. Well, we can. D-I-R asterisk intended file extension, exe. Oh jeez, there's even too many of these. Let's try adding P as well. Okay, that's what I want. That's good, that's nice. Look at us, we're DOS pros. We're DOS pros. Okay, let's go back to C drive. We've got these two extra game directories that I've snuck in here, but let's put another game in. How about Star Goose? Okay, we're putting it in the directory. Let's have a look at DOSBox. Star Goose? Star Goose? Where's Star Goose? It's not there. Let's fix that. 
By pressing Ctrl F4, or just typing Rescan, we can make DOSBox reread the directory without having to close the program. Neat! Let's have a look at Stargoose. Obviously that's the name of the fault. Oh, well, darn. It's longer than eight characters or contains spaces, but on the plus side it tells you exactly what to type in. There we go, we're in Stargoose! Hooray! Okay, I'm terrible at Stargoose, that's enough Stargoose. Gosh, we're so good at DOS now. I don't know about you, but I'm sick of typing in mount every time I want to play a game. So let's make it automatic. Let's go into DOSBox options. And, ooh, there are lots of things to play around with here, but I don't recommend it to begin with. Scrolling right to the bottom, you can enter commands that you want to run every time you load DOSBox up. Okay, let's hop back in, and just like magic, it's done for us every time we open the program. Pretty good! I think that'll do for today. Well done! Out of all those options, DOSBox is my favourite. It's really intimidating at first, but it's a sin once you get the hang of it, I promise you. Sometimes games can be a little bit finicky, but there's such a supportive community out there, you'll be fine, I promise you. However, just play a DOS game. Just play a DOS game today. If you do one thing besides watch this video today, play a DOS game. It's easy. It takes 10 seconds. You'll be an expert in no time. You already are an expert. You watch this video, you're fine. Uh, there are plenty of other options like Marty PC, DOSBox Staging, PCM, Real Hardware, but it's better to wait and see if you get consumed by DOS lust before we go in that direction. Thanks so much for watching again and uh, let me know what you play. Bye!